Hey guys, it's Chris again. Um, tonight I'm taking a short break. I don't know if it's a short break. It might be a long break. I just started um, organizing my wax. And I'm thinking I'm going to organize my vendor. Um, I was updating databases, so my face has been in a computer all day. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to do by vendor. So I have one of those big, I'm going to have to do a another video on my stash and how I keep it and whatever when I get it organized. But I have um, one of those three big three tier, uh, three drawer Sterilite, um, you know, pull out drawers. Plus I have boxes all over the place. I have um, baskets and like treasure wooden boxes and stuff like that but things were getting a little crazy so I went out and I bought they didn't have the th the wider three drawers but they had big pink I'm just looking at them over there um, I went to big lots and I got they had larger taller skinnier but taller five drawers so I'm thinking okay so that's ten vendors plus the three that I have, it's 11, 12, 13 vendors. Um, and I think, I only picked up two, and I think I should have picked up three. I think there were three there. I may go back tomorrow and pick up a third, depending on how it looks in my living room. My living room is really small, guys. I only live in like 800 square feet. It's a one bedroom loft, and we have four people living in here um but anyway <coughs> excuse me oh choking on air um so i decided to take a break from that and do a haul video that i got from a new vendor that i have not tried before um i do a lot of videos on um i shouldn't say i do a lot of videos when I do a video on, on a vendor that I like and stuff, I tend to repurchase and repurchase and repurchase. So I may have like a ton of um, something from like one vendor or, or a few vendors and then like not much from others. Like Candles by Victoria, I don't have a lot of. I would love to have a lot of, but I don't. But anyway, this isn't about Candles by Victoria. This is about... Angel made sense. The owner is Christy. She's so sweet. Just such a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Um, I found Angel made sense in a um, wax group. Um, this is where I'm finding a lot of new vendors now, and it's not helping Chris's wallet at all. It's not helping my bank account. But she was doing this card so cute just take another look at it this is the other side it's glossy but it's so cute and her website is so cute i don't know if that's her daughter if you go on her website i'll post it below but if you go on her website there's a picture of the most gorgeous little girl oh my god right at the beginning i'm thinking that's probably her daughter but oh woo, so cute so i kind of got a small haul um because it was a vendor that i hadn't really tried and I had purchased three other there's been a lot of videos this week guys I know like within the last day like yesterday I think I did three um, so bear with me but please watch them all and subscribe because and like because I don't know you might find a vendor that hey you never thought you'd try before um, so she was doing a okay this is a vendor that I believe I could be wrong, but I believe she's kind of hard to get um, stuff from. So it's not somebody that always has stuff all the time kind of thing, whatever. It's kind of an RTS, um, ready to ship kind of thing. But I was able to get, um, I think she posted, I don't know if it was a sale, because I'm looking here on her shop, on her site here, and... What did, maybe it was a sale, on sale, let me see, nope, that sale looks like it's over, 
Um, let me see here. I wanted to try a lot of her samplers. Now, unfortunately, a lot of them are not up. I mean, they look like they're up on the website, and then when you hit them, you can't purchase them. There's nothing there. So, like I said, she she's um, more of a ready-to-ship kind of thing. Um, but I did get two sam... Oh, here's another one that I could have gotten. I did get two samplers. Um... I got something that was called the No Strings Attached Sampler Pack. Um, that was $12.50. And when I click on it here, do I have to click it again? For $12.50, you get 21 of our current scents in testing. So I don't know if these are scents that's gonna, that are going to be um, around for a really long time. But this was so up my alley. I really love No Strings Attached samplers. Like, we don't, I mean, they had the list of, obviously, of what you were getting. But, um, but just trying out new things. I, you know, I just, I love samplers. I just love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Um, because I try a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't try. So, I got that, the No Strings Attached sampler, and we'll go through that, but, Funny thing is, my son was helping me. This is for another vendor. My son was helping me. I was repackaging some stuff. And he was helping me put labels on the scent shots. Because it came in a four pack. And the cello part was labeled. But not the actual scent shot. So I made labels up and I did that. So he was doing it and he smelled them all. He's like, oh my god, this is so good. Or, oh, I can't stand that. So when I opened this box, he got all excited. He was like, oh, this is so cool. Because the pet tissue paper... It's pink and black, like two of my favorite colors, ultimately, like absolutely love it. Um, so he just started pulling stuff out and I'm like, stop, like my OCD's kicking in and I'm going, oh my God, stop, cut it out. Like, holy moly, wait for me. Like, this is crazy. You know, he's ripping off tops and all this other stuff. And I'm like, ah, I'm freaking out, you know, I'm trying not to break out, but in my head, I'm freaking out. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Um, but he's sniffing everything. He's like, oh my god, oh, I love it. Oh, I don't really like this one. I love this one, whatever. He was really cute. So, and, and when he was leaving for his father's house, he said, oh, you know, anytime, mom, you know, you need help with labels or doing whatever with your candle stuff, just let me know. I'll help you. So, it was really cute. Um, so I received the No Strings Attached Sampler Pack. Um, that was $12.50. So I got $0.21 cents for $12.50. Now, I haven't opened them yet, guys. I'll show you, I'll show you how they came. Really, really cute. I got, we got pink sampler, I'm just gonna, um, the we got pink sampler was $16.50, and I'm not too sure about this one, like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but this was, hmm, pink sugar blend choices, okay, I don't know how many are in here, to be honest with you, oh, I got to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got to pick eight. Um, so if I like them, I will come back and um, pick the ones that I didn't pick because it has on my list here what I picked. Um, if I like the pink. So yeah, so it allows you to pick, pick eight milk cups of your choice. Um, I personally, like I said, I like the No Strings Attached sampler better. I like to see more of that, like the variety thing. Um, but Pink is the newest Rage. I did another video recently. Um, I think it was yesterday. And on the Pink. And you know what? Everything kind of smelled the same. I was a little disappointed. Like, you know, you could have, like, pink coffee and pink, I don't know, zucchini bread or whatever. And they just, they kind of smelled the same. So, but that was from a different vendor. So I'm hoping that this is different. Okay, so first I'm going to go through, um, oh, and then I ordered two ready-to-order scent shots. Um, actually, four, two of each scent. Um, just because, like I said, I like to do my 
little gifty gifts and giveaways. So if I have a scent that I really love, I'm not going to go, oh, okay, can, you can't have this one, um, which I tend to do a lot. <laughs> and I say that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to keep it for myself. So I'm going to show you here. Um, okay, that's a dupe. A duplicate. Um, and this is a duplicate. Okay, so those were the two that I ordered. And then I got really cool. I got four. Was it four? I'm sorry, I'm out of frame, guys. I got four really nice um, freebies. Thank yous. And it's really cute. So I'll show you. First off, we got a two ounce scent shot right here. And there's her website www.angel made-made-sense.com is that how I typed it in? <clears throat> Maybe. Anyway, I'll like I said, I'll put the information below. Oops. And this is a thank you. Isn't that cute? She's got a little thank you so you know what is, you know, a thank you in Pink Noel. And Noel, I believe, is a vanilla type scent. Um, let me see. I'm going to reopen this in another page also because I want to switch back and forth. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going today. Um, I want to be able to <clears throat> switch back and forth to um, the scent descriptions. Um, I don't know. Okay, she she doesn't have she has house blends up. But there's not a whole lot. She's only got to the bees. Um, I like that she has everything in alphabetical order, but she only has A's and B's up. <laughs> so, okay, that's not going to help me. Um, okay. Anyway, we're going to pretty much wing this, I guess, then. For the most part, because I can't really tell you. I'm just looking at this um, No Strings Attached sampler, and there's like, oh my god, so many. And, and these are not going to have what you call it. Not going to have scent descriptions either, unfortunately. So, and you know how I am with scent descriptions. I like to have them because I'm not that great with stuff. But this is um, Pink Noel. And it smells like pink. You know, pink sugar. Um, I'm thinking this is like a pink vanilla. Um, I don't know if you can see this comes in. There's little sprinkles kind of like um it looks like almost like there's little um that sprinkles glitter of course it's not going to yeah you can kind of see it there um just a little bit though i'm done with the glitter thing like i i don't like cleaning it out of my warmer i can't stand it it drives me nuts um this is very sweet very nice um so it's, I'm assuming this is like a pink sugar mixed with a vanilla. So this was a nice thank you. Then I received another pink. This one is pink cherries. Okay, and there's definitely a difference. At first I was like, there's no difference, you know. And my son was like, they smell the same to me. But you can definitely smell the cherries in this one. Um... In fact, almost more cherry than pink, but it's really nice. And this pink, it doesn't pick up on my webcam, but it is the hottest pink. Like, it is super hot. Like, I want nail polish in this color. This is just amazing. This is very nice. Pink cherries. Um, next, we have a thank you, which was Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. That's really interesting. Blackberry um, is not a scent that I've had a lot of luck with. Um, let me see if it's up here. Blackberry. No. It's not. They have a couple blackberries, but not this one. Okay. I just have to double check. So this is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Now, look at guys. Scent shots. This is how they should be filled. Right here. All the way to the brim. I know I did another video where somebody, you know, just didn't really fill them 
and this is just this is an awesome pour right here this is like amazing and this is nice I like this um I'm definitely getting the butter cookies blackberry jam see I don't really know what blackberry smell oh I don't really know what it smells like but let me tell you her wax is really nice it's very soft not soft it smell it smells it feels it's not soft because I'm not you can see I'm not scratching it or anything like that it's not like you know anything like that but but there's you know some some on my fingers and it's it's just nice and it's the perfect consistency actually it really really is it's really nice so blackberry jam butter cookies I'm gonna let of course all this stuff cure because that's what I do but this I think I like this I really do so that's a nice thank you um, it's always nice when you get a nice thank you as opposed to like a thank you and you're like oh that's gross and then you say to yourself well hey at least I didn't pay for it right no that's awful that's awful, Chris. Awful. Don't think that way. Um, and then I got the most humongous. And this has a little bit of sprinkles. Sprinkles. Not sprinkles, guys. Um, not sprinkles. Okay, focus. I had no... There you go. Um, glitter. Glitter. I'm over glitter. Picnic in the park. Now, this... Look at this thing, guys. This is the most gorgeous butterfly. I'm going to take it out just because it's really hard to see. But this thing is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. And oh my god, please let me be able to take it out without... And this is definitely a cello bag. Can you hear it, guys? That is... That's a cello bag. Even though it's a Ziploc, it's a cello. It's a cello Ziploc. If you hear this crinkle... You know that you've got the right kind. If you crinkle just a regular Ziploc brand like this, you're not going to... It's very soft plastic. Like, you're not going to get this sound. And the only reason I say that is so people know, if you put your wax in a regular old Ziploc bag, you're going to lose the scent. You're not going to keep it. But look at this monster. Guys, look at... That is so gorgeous look at this thing it's huge look at look at how huge that is that's like the size of my palm and the thickness it this thing is ginormous I mean and I am into huge this is a tart guys this to me is a tart I'm into huge tarts I don't know how something how much something like this costs on our website but oh, this is it's just gorgeous. Look at, look at this mold. It is so pretty. Okay, so this is in Picnic in the Park. Now, this is a very light, and unfortunately, I don't know. So, Christy, if you watch this video, please let me know what Picnic in the Park smells like. Please. She probably has sent description on in her Facebook, um, on her Facebook page, but it's very nice. I have no idea what it smells like, to be honest with you. I really don't. I'm not going to even pretend to guess because I don't know, but it is very nice. And this tart is amazing. This is definitely a two-shot tart right here. Um, oh, I don't want to break it. It's so pretty. But just the work put into that is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, I have glitter in my hands now. But really nice. Um, okay, then the two... Ready to ships that I got were caramel latte. I mean, any coffee scent, guys, you can't go wrong. Oh my god, in my eyes. And again, like I said, awesome pour. I mean, this one's like a little indented, but whatever. The you know, I mean, look at right to the lip there. Um, you got some glitter going on, like I said. I would prefer to say no glitter. I know some sites are doing that now. You know, do you want glitter? Do you not want glitter? I'd prefer to say no, but it's not going to kill me. But this, oh my God, caramel latte is just amazing. It's a creamy caramel, milky coffee. Oh my God. 
I want one. I want a caramel latte right now. I really do. But, okay, so that that was one that I got. I got actually I got two of those. And then this one is in coconut butter. And my son was asking me, he's like, well, isn't that, isn't that cocoa butter? And I'm like, well, yeah, kind of, I guess. And it, does, it smells like cocoa butter. It's just, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Love it. Nice, tropical, beachy. Uh, ooh, love it. Anything that smells sort of like suntan lotion to me, I just, I'm all over it. This is really, really nice. Um, I guess I'm not getting a lot of, it says coconut butter, so I'm not getting like a lot of coconut per se. You know what I mean? Like fresh coconut. But it's more of like a cocoa butter kind of um, scent. But it's really nice. So I got two each of those. So I can <clears throat> put one in my share pile. Okay, now we are on to the these absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to start with the pinks because there's less in here, I believe. Look at these gorgeous bags. Look at Everything is black and pink, which I'm just in, absolutely in love with. There's the front label. And then on the back, I've never actually received anything in a bag, to be honest with you. We got pink sampler. <clears throat> so, oh, this is just so beautiful. I don't even want to open it up. Oh, no, this is cool. She did it perfect so I could, like, put this back on. Oh, I like that. And it comes in almost like a, like a coffee, you know, like a coffee bag where you'd get, you know, that you'd get from the store. Oh, here they are. All. Um, like I said, okay, if there's any, if there's one thing that I could say, it would be, I mean, her pores are amazing. They really are. They're just absolutely amazing as far as they're right up there. Her labels start to come off a little bit. You know, and stick. You know, they start to unstick. Um, labels are hard. Labels are really hard, guys, To as far as keeping them on the plastic and stuff like that. I normally tape mine, each side of it, or just a little piece of tape. But this is pink caramels. Oh, and this is nice. These are all going to smell sweet. But I still, I still get the caramel. So that is awesome. That is amazing. Um, I also got pink brownies. And I can smell the brownie. A lot of times with pinks and serendipities, they overwhelm everything. Oh, smells so good. And, and I'm really... Like I said, I'm really anxious to, um, what you call it, to melt these too because I've never melted like pink blends before. But this is pink vanilla cake pops. Like I said, there's no scent description, so. And this is nice. Hmm. This is a very nice bakery scent. Not what I was expecting. Um, oh, it's very nice, though. I like it. Um, I'm not getting too much pink right now. But it's a really nice bakery. Um, bakery scent. I always get wax everywhere when I do this. Okay, this is... Oh, there goes my... Come on, webcam. This is just ridiculous. Anyway, this is, there you go, pink cotton sheets. I don't know why my webcam does this sometimes. Oh, this is nice. This is like a linen scent. But it's like a sweet linen scent. Like This would, this would be like a nice linen spray. You know, this is what you would want your sheets to smell like. Ooh, 
Very nice. Like that. Like that a lot. I, I'm liking this pink sampler. I am. I, I'm surprising myself because, and they're all a different pink. It's so cute. I have them like lined up right here. It's so cute. They're all like a different pink. You know, maybe she changes the colors just enough. Okay, now this one I'm expecting to be super sweet because this is pink serendipity and pink is a super sweet and serendipity is a super sweet. So, yeah. But it's not too sweet though. It's not overwhelmingly it's really nice. I'm sure, like I said, she hand pours everything. I'm sure when this cures more, it's going to be amazing. But I'm really surprising myself with the pink sampler, guys, because I thought everything was going to smell the same. I really, really, really did. Um, this is fluffy pink. I mean, the only thing I wish is that I had a scent description. Um, ooh. This is nice. This is almost like, I'm thinking fluffy pink would be like a cotton candy pink, but I don't, I don't know. This almost smells like a little bit of floral to me. I don't know. I don't know. Christy, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I really like it though, but I was expecting, like I said, all the pinks to smell the same. I really was like, that's, I thought it was going to all smell the same. This is pink whoop, sugared strawberries. So what I think, guys, oh, and this has a nice strawberry smell. Oh, this is nice. Nice strawberry smell. And like I said, you're adding the pink. So don't forget, guys, that this is going to be sweeter than your normal you know, it's going to smell a little different than your normal, but I'm catching everything like the cotton linen. I mean, I'm catching those notes through the pink, which is just amazing me. And then you have, oops, pink zucchini bread. Um, I think I'm going to go through. To, oh, see, I can smell the zucchini bread big time. I really thought the pink was just going to overwhelm everything. She did good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think I'm going to have to go and do, I hope she has eight more. I hope there's just, just a matter of eight more. Um, I'm not going to put these away, but because this bag is done. Um, cause I think I'm going to go, or, or I'm going to order more of the pinks because I didn't order them more. I didn't order them all. Now here is the next bag. This is the no strings attached sampler. And again, it's packaged so cutely. Um, because I do databases. Now I'm telling this just to Christy, because I know people are gonna be like, Yeah, we know Chris, you do databases. Oh, this is cool. These are not um sunshots. That's why you were she was able to fit twenty one in here. These are like little these are like testers. Um, but the reason I need scent descriptions is okay, number one, I'm O C D big time. In my old age, I got OCD. I never had it before. Could care less. Didn't care if anything was in order. Now I'm OCD. Didn't know people got that. I thought you outgrew that kind of stuff, not you grew into it, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to have a list of pink this and pink that and pink this and pink that and then no scent description because what I have is I have a yes or no um, column. Then I have the quantity of what I have, so that way I know what I can give away, what I need to stock up on again. Um, I have the scent, and then I have the description, and then I have scent throw. So I may, like, smell something and just go, oh, no, and throw it in my giveaway pile. And like I said, my giveaway pile isn't gross. I, I go, oh, no, like, it's gross. It's not gross. It's just stuff that, you know, I get from samplers and stuff that, like, I, like, I don't do a lot of mints. I don't do... Oh, melon, I'm getting a little more into, um, I don't do pine at all. And cinnamon is, if it's not too strong, I'll do it. But if it's strong, like red hot cinnamon, whatever, no, I, I don't do that either. But, um, so that's why I like to have the scent descriptions just so my database can be complete, you know? 
and, and because my nose is, I don't, I don't know, I like to know what's in all these things. I have no idea. And I know with a lot of house blends, it's hard to keep track. Okay, so these come, oh, it comes in different things, but this is cinnamon glazed baklava. Now, I would love, like I said, I, I like her cello bags. These are really nice. These are nice ones. I would really like to know what this consists of. Maybe if, I mean, it it, it said testers. It said um, you get 21 of our current scents in testing. So I guess they haven't decided yet. Okay, so this is a little too cinnamony, cinnamony for me. This is probably not something, this would be in my giveaway pal. This is not something I would melt. Way too cinnamon for me. Um, and I'm sure the more that it cures, it's going to just get more cinnamon. Cinnamon's hard. Cinnamon is very hard to blend without, you know, you want a touch of it. You don't want too much of it unless it's like a red hot cinnamon candy kind of thing. Um, but I don't, what is a cinnamon glazed baklava? So I don't, like baklava has like nuts and stuff. I don't smell any buttery. I don't smell any flake. You know, flakiness, I don't smell, you know, like that buttery, flaky crust that it has. I don't smell any nuts. All I smell is straight up cinnamon. So this would be a no for me, the cinnamon glazed baklava. So this is going in my giveaway pack. Um, let's see, we have, oh, this is cute. Look, it's a cute little flower in Mountain Springs. Oh man, you guys, when I do these reviews, it drives me crazy because, um, okay, thank God she didn't, she did not tape the label. That drives me nuts because then I have to rip it and then it looks cheesy when I try to give it to other people. This is very nice. This is like a, um, soap. It smells like soap. It smells like Irish Spring. Um, this is called what? Mountain Spring. Okay, this is not on the list. I'm a little confused. It's not on the list. Oh, Downy Mountain Spring. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a nice, fresh laundry, a laundry scent, but it smells to me like, like a, almost like a soap. Um, not quite Irish Spring, but that's very nice. Um, I'm going to try to hurry this up, guys, because I know it takes me a long time. This is pink lilac. I would love the scent descriptions on these guys. I love it. I'm not complaining, Christy. I'm not. I'm just venting. Pink lilac and willow. I would love a scent description on that. And this is a nice chunk. Look, this is a really nice chunk. This would go number one in my warmer. This would do nothing in my warmer. This might work in my little tiny 14 watt LED, um, but I would not get a good wax pull in my warm. My warmers are big, so I would not get a good wax pull with that. But this one, I think I would get a decent wax pull. Um, so this is what pink, lilac, and willow. Oh my god! And I don't do florals, guys. But willow, hello, willow used to be my nickname. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. The movie Legend with Tom Cruise, but there was a little um, a little person in it in there played a I don't know if he played a dwarf I don't know exactly what he played but his name was Willow and um, I had a friend who used to call me Willow all the time that was my nickname this is amazing and I'm not like I said I'm not a floral person but I love this love it love it love it so this is a floral that I will actually keep because normally my florals I give away. Um, here's another little flower. Like I said, I may have to do some mixing, guys, or just melt these all in my 14 watts. And I love it, Christy, that, oh, I'm sorry, this is in Paris Night Type. So I'm assuming that's some sort of maybe bath and body work, some sort of kind of cologne or body lotion kind of scent. But I love that she tapes the cello where it does not disrupt the label because I do the same thing when I repackage and make sure that when someone opens it you're not ripping the label. Oh, this is really nice. 
don't know what Paris Nights smells like, but I like it. So if someone can let me know below, is it a Bath and Body Works? Because I will totally pick this up. This is nice. I like it. I'll pick it up. Um, I don't do many. I use one company strictly for my Bath and Body stuff. Um, but anyway, but I, I would pick that scent up because that's nice. This is, come on, Waikiki Shores. See, I want to know. And again, it's a little flower. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing these in my 14 watt. Definitely, without a doubt. Because I don't want to waste them. I don't want to put them into my bigger bowls and not get a good wax bowl and just waste them. Oh, this is nice, too. Waikiki Shores. Very beachy. It's hard for me, like I said, without having a scent description, very super hard for me to um, tell you guys, but it's nice. Very beachy. Danish butter cookies. Danish butter cookies. Um, again, in a little... Um, I like more of these cubes, Christy. More of the cubes in the samplers. More cubes, less little flowers. Just my opinion. And as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, it's just an opinion. Doesn't really mean much. That's what I would prefer. I think maybe others would too. That's why I give it. This is again, what is it? Danish butter cookies. Oh, this is nice. This smells just like that can, that blue can. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. The blue round can that your grandmother always had. The Danish butter cookies. They were, came in all different shapes. They were covered in sugar. And she would have, you know, have them out when she made tea. And everyone had, like, their favorite shape. Like, they were all tasted the same, but... Oh, very nice. Um, I, and I like it. I like this, too, because it's not, it's not too bakery. Like, some of them get really outrageous with the bakery. Like, it's just, they all smell the same. There's another little flower, a little um, yellow flower in... Pineapple souffle. I know when I start smelling, guys, this is when my videos get long. So I'm really, really trying here, guys, to just not. But I just feel like if I don't sniff them and I don't let you know, then what do you, you know, you may go. Oh, it just straight up nice, fresh, juicy pineapple. Um, I don't know what souffle smells like. <laughs> But this is an awesome pineapple scent. Um, awesome, awesome. And I'm laughing because Christy was worried earlier. She's like, oh, I'm nervous. Um, pineapple, that was pineapple souffle. And this is pineapple slices. So she was like all nervous because I said I was going to do a video. And I was like, really, girl? Like, please. I'm sure there's nothing to be worried about. There's only like one video I've ever done where... It hasn't been all that great, but and this smells different than the pineapple souffle. Um, pineapple slices. Okay, I you know now I can see that the souffle was more sort of like a creamier pineapple. This is more of a tang. Pineapple slices, but I I love love it. I love it. I love anything pineapple, coconut, whatever. I love it. I think we use the same cello bags. I really like them. Although I think I may like hers more. I don't know. This is lemon sugar bunt. Lemon sugar bunt cupcake. That is quite a lot to say. Lemon. Oh my god. There we go. Lemon sugar bunt cupcake. I can't. You know. Sometimes if I hold it, and now it's not gonna. My autofocus is all out of whack. But um, sometimes if I hold it super close, then it. It's perfect. It, it absolutely, you know, I have to be, like, super close to it. And other times, I have to pull it away, like you just saw. Whatever. Oh, my God. Okay. Lemon scents are now my new craze. And this is absolutely amazing. What is this? Lemon sugar bunt cupcake. Okay. Christy, this one needs is a keeper. 
absolute keeper. This is amazing. My lemon scents have to have a punch. They got to have a tang. And this does. This is, oh my God. This is so good. Lemon sugar bunt cupcake. This is, I don't know. Like I said, I want this on your site. I want more of this lemon sugar bunt cupcake, Christy. It's awesome. Um, oh my God. We have quite a few here left. Okay. This is a dark musk. It's called, it's called dark musk. I love musks. I, I love anything exotic. I've just recently gotten into the bakeries because normally I would do herbals and spa scents and musky and masculine. That would be it. Oh, this is nice. This is a perfect musk. Look, it's not too much. But what's the dark part? Dark musk. Christy's got a lot of questions to answer. She really does. And everybody has to post below. All my vendors need to watch the video and post below and answer all my questions. That's the rule to my video. The rules to my video are when I ask a question, you post it below. That's it. So, dark musk. When I say dark musk, I want the scent descriptions of all of these. What am I talking about? Okay, this is interesting. Sea salt and yuzu. I have no idea what yuzu is. And again, it's all, they're all these pretty little, these cute little flowers. Um, yuzu. Tell me what yuzu is, Christy, or anybody else below. Anything with sea salt and something, I know I'm going to love it. I already, I already know I am. And I do. It's, yuzu must be some sort of flower. Oh, my God. But this is just a very exotic, tropical flower. Oh, my God. It's so good. So good. Okay, one of my favorites. This is another one of my favorites right here. Sea salt and yuzu. Christy, keep it. Sea salt and yuzu, keep it. Keep it. Um, Southern style vanilla. That's interesting. I'm not a big vanilla person. I'm really not. Like, if you give me anything like straight up vanilla, I'm kind of like, whatever. I mean, do I look vanilla? No. I look like rainbow sherbet. <laughs> you know, when people say, oh, you're so vanilla. I'm like, no, I'm rainbow sherbet. That's for sure. Oh. This is interesting. Okay. Southern vanilla. Um, I definitely smell the vanilla, but there's almost like a... No, it's not leather. I don't know what it is, Christy. Post it below. For anybody else who knows her blends, post it below. Southern style vanilla. Tell me what it is. Tell me what the southern style in the vanilla is. I need to know. Oh, God. We're at 42 minutes. I'm trying to go really quick, guys. I really apologize. Blue cotton candy. And I don't think I was even showing you the, um, what you call it, the labels. I apologize, but everything takes time. And I just, I was getting really good with my videos being shorter. Okay. Um, I'm smelling not much of anything on this one. Blue cotton candy. Very faint. Like it. I like it. Wish it was stronger. Blue is probably like the blue sugar, maybe. Which I love. The blue aquilina sugar. And then cotton candy, but... Mm. Or maybe it's blueberry cotton candy. Maybe that's what I'm smelling, is blueberry. But it's faint. It's a, a lighter scent. I'll let it cure. Um, not that I don't like it, because I do. I like it. I don't think there's anything that... There was one. That cinnamon one. That cinnamon glazed baklava. It looks like it's the only one you guys are getting out of um, Angel, Angel Made Scents. Sorry, guys. Okay, salted caramel popcorn. I already know this is going to be right up my alley. I love popcorn smells. Oh, my God. I love popcorn smells. Now, I would like to have just a salted popcorn and then a caramel popcorn. Because kettle corn is like my favorite smell of all time. Salted caramel popcorn. Um, it's not too strong. I wish it was stronger. But it's, oof, love it. Salted caramel popcorn. 
definitely a keeper. It's a yes. There's so many in my yes pile. There's one in my no pile. That's it. There's one. I'm sorry. I think I did this with another vendor, too. I'm sure people watching the video are like, damn. Stop. you got to put your stuff in the giveaway pile. Everybody knows I do. I do anyway. But this is Hawaiian sandalwood. Now, I love sandalwood. I know some people are allergic or don't like it. Anything Hawaiian and sandalwood? Amazing. Lots of sandalwood, guys. Huge on the sandalwood. Don't know what the Hawaiian is? Would like to know Hawaiian sandalwood? I'm going to have to get a hold of Christy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message her. And I'm going to see if I can get some descriptions for these testers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if she'll do it for me. I don't know if she will. I don't know if she will feed my OCD. I don't know. But I really need her to. I need her to feed my OCD. Um, cake bake. I'm sure these are all great, guys. I <sighs> When I open everything, it gets so long. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not getting too much. It's a light bakery scent. Um, maybe a little buttercream frosting, which always throws me for a loop. Buttercream frosting, not huge on. So cake bake, do I love it? No, but I like it. I like it. I don't love it. Cabana coconut. Okay. Now, I just get these images in my head. Like, I can picture myself in Malibu or Greece in a cabana drinking a coconut drink. Of course, a virgin because I don't drink, but... Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. The coconut scents are so hard, guys. They really are hard as far as um, really smelling the coconut, but I can smell it in this one. Coconut Cabana. Or Cabana Coconut. I want to know what the Cabana part is. Okay, Christy, you got a lot of explaining to do. You got a lot of explaining to do, Christy. Lavender Linen. She's probably going, I got no explaining to do. I don't have to tell you nothing. This is a very nice purple, like a nice lilac color. Um, this is what? Lavender. Oh, lavender. It's a nice lavender color. Lavender li linen. Oh. Okay. This is interesting. This smells almost sugary to me. Maybe it's my sniffer off. But this smells almost like a pink sugar lavender. Okay, that's weird. Not what I expect. I love it. I love the smell, but not what I expected at all. It smells very sweet to me. Lavender li linen. I don't know why. I like it. This is not what I thought it would be. Um, this one does not have a label label. This is lemon ice box cupcakes. So, I mean, it has a label. It's just handwritten. I shouldn't say it doesn't have a label label. And she's, like me, she's very careful to not put the label over the sticky part so I don't have to rip it. I love it. And again, okay, any of your lemon scents, I want them all. I want them in big, huge tarts. I want them in this size right here. This size. The lemons, I want them in this size right here, please. Okay? Christy, I'm placing my order right now. The lemon scents right here in this big butterfly. That's what I want them in. Because they're amazing. 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 Um, I gotta keep this under an hour, guys. Oh, this is a very... Okay, this I might not like. I'm not a pumpkin person. But this is a very pretty color. Pumpkin, pecan, pecan, wherever you're from, I guess, is how you say it. But I say pecan. Pecan pie. I, see pe I say pecan pie, but then when I say it by itself, it's pecan. I don't know. It's weird. Whatever. Pumpkin pecan bars. I also say, um, it's so funny. I got, I don't know how I got into this habit, but as I'm not from Boston or anything like that, but I say garbage. 
So when I could tell my grandson, here, here, can you throw this in the garbage for me? It's like, you never lived in Boston. No, I haven't. I don't know why. Yeah, this is a no for me. Um, just because I'm not a pumpkin person. It's a nice scent. It's a really, really nice scent. So people who like the pumpkins, this is really nice. I mean, it's not too overwhelming, um, pumpkin pecan bars. I wish I smelled a little more of the nutty. I, don't, I could give it. Now, I'm going to put this in my giveaway pile. I only have one in my giveaway pile. So, from um, Angel Made Sense. And I know you guys want to try it. So, I'm going to play it in my giveaway pile. Um, and Tropical Fruit Bomb. It's the bomb, baby. It's the Tropical Fruit Bomb, baby. Tropical Fruit Bomb. Bang! Yes, it is. That is amazing. Okay. Very tro tropical fruit, period. And it's the bomb. I love it. Okay, so that was my no strings attached sampler. So if you guys get a chance, well, I just gave you all of them, so you're not going to get anything different than I got. Um, but again, I'm going to show you her card. Unfortunately, guys, I only have two giveaways here. I loved everything. Angel made sense. www angel slash or hyphen made hyphen sense dot com. I'll post it below. Owner is Christy. She's awesome. She's on Facebook. She's online. She's in the wax groups. Um, she's not in Candles Anonymous yet. I will get her there, Christy. You need to join Candles Anonymous. Um, we would love, love, love to have you. Um, she's just a delightful woman, girl. Why do I say woman? Why am I saying woman? Everybody's younger than me. I'm sure she's probably like 24. God. <laughs> like probably twice her age. Um, but wonderful. Angel made sense. Love it. We'll be purchasing more. I think I'm going to go back and purchase the rest of the pinks um, from the pink sampler. Hopefully more of the other samplers come up. And I'm going to go bug her right now to find out from the No Strings Attached Sampler, what all these scents are. I need scent descriptions. I need them. I have to have them. So, hopefully she'll give them to me. I don't know, guys. Um, if she doesn't, I'll just post the scents with no descriptions. But, I'll post below. Guys, as always, love you, love you, love you. Love for my peeps. Love them. Um, please subscribe. I am going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon. Some of the Angel... Um, made. I want to say Angel Blend. Angel Made Sense may, could be in there. Um, I think I'm going to do a multi-vendor medium rate box because um, last time I checked I had 99 subscribers. So once I hit 100, guys, it's time for a giveaway. I love giveaways. I love them. So subscribe, please, and like. Like the video, too. Don't just subscribe. Also, like it. I hope you like it. I love making them. I love talking to you guys. I really do. But Christy, I will be in touch because I need to know what some of these scents are. But anyway, have a great night, guys. i got to go back to organizing. <sighs> I really don't want to. But I love you all. And have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you soon.